Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of chapter two on descriptive statistics. In this problem, we're asked to create a dot plot of these actual high temperatures, uh, 14 consecutive days that were given. And then we're given some choices as to which of these gives us the dot plots. I might just tell you right now that whenever you see the little plus the uh, magnifying glass, click on that so that you can really see what that choice looks like. Some of these uh, displays don't communicate very well. You can't tell how many dots are in some of these, so do that. But we're going to use StatCrunch. That's the quickest way I know to do it. Just click on the little blue rectangle and then open in StatCrunch. Okay, I have StatCrunch open with that data in the column label variable 1. We're going to go to Graph, look down until we see Dot Plot. We need to select the column with our data. Just double click it and make sure it shows up over here. And then we're going to leave everything else just the way it offers and click Compute. And so we get our Dot Plot. And if you look closely, you can see you've got a dot for each data point. So there's one at 55, three at 65, four at 70, and so on. And then we can look over here, and again, you're going to have to use the magnifying glass to blow it up to see which one is correct. Let's look at this one. It looks like Charlie, just looking at it, may be the right one. We've got one at 55, three at 65, four at 70, one at 75, four at 80, and so that is the correct one. But again, use the magnifying glass. So I hope this helps. And if it does help, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Stats Files. Just click on the big red button.